Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zita and on my channel I share with you DIYs and makeovers on a budget. And don't forget to follow me over on my socials at Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and Etsy. So let's get started on today's DIYs. <music> So for this first DIY, I just picked up a small cutting board from the Dollar Tree. Right here I'm giving it some spray paint, a white spray paint. I believe this brand is Beauty Tone. And right here I'm just cutting out some burlap for the sign. And I'm going to be dipping this in some paint and letting it dry. And the paint I'm using is Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint in Eulalie's Sky. Very nice blue color. And you'll want to mix the paint, one part paint powder to one part water. Sometimes I add a little more paint powder just to thicken it up a little bit more. So here I'm dipping that burlap that I cut in the paint. Isn't that a nice blue color? So I'm just going to spread that out on some paper and I took it outside and let it dry. Took a couple of hours for this to dry completely. And for this sign, I'm using some wooden alphabet that I also uh, purchased from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to paint these up in the same milk paint color. And right here, I'm just spelling out the word beach for the sign. So I started painting these with my brush, but then I just dipped them in the paint. It was quicker. I dipped them in and just scooped them out with a spoon and just kind of let them sit. I let these dry for a couple of hours as well. So right here you see I got the word beach spelt out and my burlap has dried. Now I'm just cutting it to size. And as you can see it's kind of hard so it was easy to cut down to size once it dried up. It's still quite bendable though, as you'll see when I apply it to the sign. Just making sure my um, starfish fit on the burlap. Here I'm just spacing out the word beach before I glue it on to the sign. Now I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue that burlap to the back. I'm just pressing it in here with the old broken knife. <laughs> Don't use your finger to press it down guys, this glue is so hot. <laughs> uh, learn from my mistake.
Now here I'm just putting some hot glue on the starfish and I'm going to glue that to the burlap. And here I'm just giving the wooden letters a little sand down. And I'm just lining them up again before I glue them down. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I love that painted burlap. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment. This is just a hook that I'm putting on the back. These I purchased from Amazon. I'll leave a link in the bottom. Here I'm just giving it uh, a distressing with some I think it's 80 grit sandpaper had to go a little coarser because this was not chalk paint that I put on so it was a little harder to distress and right here I'm just giving it some dry brushing with that same Eulalie Sky milk paint color that I dipped the burlap in What do you guys think? Leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this little project. For this next DIY, I'm just using some old bottles I had laying around, a mason jar and an old liquor bottle, which was really nice, had that wavy effect to it. And I use this Krillon Sea Glass spray paint on them, one in sea foam and one in aqua. Here I'm just spray painting the mason jar in the aqua spray paint. Doesn't it give it this nice sea glass effect? And this is the liquor bottle. It has kind of a wavy curvature to it. It's a really nice bottle. Um, this is the sea foam spray paint. This one really looks like sea glass, I find. Have you guys used this sea glass looking spray paint before? Let me know in the comments. And you can spray this on as dark or as light as you'd like. I put two coats on mine. And here's the mason jar with uh, its second coat. It's a little dark. I should have went a little lighter, I think. What do you guys think? Do you like this two coats or would you have left it the one coat? Right here I'm going to be hot gluing some twine around the top. Give it that coastal decor look. What do you guys think of the color? And these are some rub on transfers that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to be putting one of these feathers on.
I love that. Here I'm just putting some floral into some foam that I had laying around the house. I think this just came in a package I had. Just cutting it down so it fits nicely into the bottle. What do you guys think? Nice and simple. And I put some lights in it afterwards. And here's the ne next bottle, and that's the spray paint that I used on this one. Here I'm going to use a starfish and some rub-on transfers again that I got from the uh, Dollar Tree, or glass stickers these are. And that was a liquor bottle, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? I've had that one laying around for quite a while, so I decided I'm going to spray paint this and make it look coastal. Could use something like this for bubble bath or just, you know, put it on your shelf. I'm wrapping some twine around it here like the other one, like the mason jar. And there's the twine and I'm gonna wrap some twine around that starfish as well and then just wrap that around the bottle Who else loves starfish shells? Leave me a comment. Isn't that nice? And I'm just tying it around the top of the bottle. And I'm gonna put the sticker on the bottom. So those are two simple DIYs you guys with the mason jar and this bottle. So any kind of nice bottle you have laying around you could do this with and make it some nice simple home decor. For my first DIY, I'll be making some stamped clay pots. So you'll need a bunch of clay pots, you'll need some ink, some stamps which I purchased from the Dollar Tree, I have some thrifted belts, I have some white paint and the paint I'm using is interior paint and I have my glue gun. 
So you'll see that I already gave them one coat of paint. Here I'm giving them their second coat of paint and that's all I needed for these pots. The interior paint kind of gives it better coverage than uh, the um, if you were using chalk paint. I find you need more coats if you're using chalk paint. And I wasn't going to distress these so I just used the interior paint that I had on hand. Here I'm going to start with the two larger pots and I'm uh, going to be using an old belt that I thrifted at a thrift store so I'm just cutting the buckle off here and I'm going to wrap the belt around the top of the planters. So I just measured them out and give them a cut to where I needed to. And I'm using my glue gun to wrap them around the top of the pot. And one was a little too short, so I had to cut off a little piece of the belt and put add it in. So the smaller pots, I'm adding twine to the top. So I'm just holding it in place at the beginning of the twine there and then just starting to wrap it around and just giving it some glue halfway each time I wrap it. And as you can see there, I wrapped it around about five or six times. You can wrap yours around as many times as you'd like yours. And here are the small stamps that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. Here I'm just putting an elastic band around the pot to kind of just be able to line up the stamps. And here's my stays on ink in black. So I kind of just put the elastic where I wanted the stamps to start. So I put the stamps above the elastic, as you'll see. And I spelled out the words first with the stamps so they were ready for me when I wanted to place them on the pot. And I find for the stamps when you're Stamping them on the ink pad, kind of just tap them on the paper afterwards just to get some of that excess ink off the stamp. Or else it can get pretty messy as you'll see in one of my pots there later on.
Here I'm just using my paint pen just to kind of touch up some of the areas on the pot that the stamp kind of went outside. Oh, that's the first one. <laughs> so who else knows someone in their life that that pot could be given to besides the cactus? <laughs> Here I'm just working on the second pot. And as you can see, it's not completely straight, but I think that gives it that handcrafted rustic kind of look. There's the third one. Not too bad. Not completely straight, but that elastic band does help some. Right here I'm working on the bigger pots and putting and these stamps here these are also from the Dollar Tree but these are a little bigger than the uh, first set that I used on the smaller pots and I actually found these a little trickier to use because the ink kind of was getting on the sides so it, it was a little messy but I cleaned it up with my paint pen or some paint from my uh, interior paint. As you can see, yeah, see there's, it's a little messy, so I had to clean that up with uh, my uh, paint pen, and I actually took a brush and used some of my interior paint right here. And there's the second one. Not completely straight, but that gives it that rustic look. And there you go. They look pretty nice. They turned out really nice, I think. What do you think? I think next time I make these, I would probably use my silhouette machine.